Now then YouTube, I'm the Softman. Welcome back to my Liverpool simulated manager mode playthrough. In the last episode we won the League Cup. We are also uh, looking in a good place to beat Wolfsburg here and go through uh, the Europa League to the next round. I don't know what that is at the minute, I couldn't tell you without looking. Um, and we had a look through the squad report to find that not many of our players have gone up in, uh, in potential or any kind of thing like that. Schweinsteiger's injured, so is Glenn Johnson. We've got a, a, a fair few injuries in our squad at the minute. But we are six... I oh, can't believe they do that. Why do you arrange it for a Saturday when we're playing on the Thursday? So looking at the squad here, let's make sure everything's alright. We're looking okay. We're looking good. We've still got Lucas there because of course Schweinsteiger's injured, Subotic is injured, Glenn Johnson is injured. Um, Cortes should be on the bench actually, along with um, Juan Maresca. And that's looking good there. And we know that Jesse Rodriguez there, he's got a he's got a trait as well actually. Finesse shot and flares, and he's got the acrobat speciality. Um, I didn't know it, I don't know if that was always been there or if that's something that he's been he's worked on. Um, some people were asking me a few a few videos back. Um, what my uh, where do I go to? I think it's squad report actually on if I go to squad report on Haig you can see his exact stats. There you are. For people who want to know, that is Haig's stats at the moment. I don't understand quite how that's gone down 32 and down 39 as a strength. It's probably because I've been messing around uh, with the height of my player of course. Because I made him really small and really fast. Look at that. 96 acceleration, 98 agility, uh, 93 sprint speed, 94 balance, 90 stamina. It's, you know, he's a pretty good guy. He's got really good crossing as well, 91 crossing there. Uh, ball control, 92. Dribbling, 92. Long shots of 88. I could swear they were higher than that, but never mind. Short passing of 89. Shot power of 89. Volleys of 86. I could swear they were higher than that as well. Um, and you know that's that's my guys individual stats feel free to pause it and have a look um, but let's carry on because we've got a match to play the uh, return leg against Wolfsburg let's just see if we can build on that 3-1 lead and, and possibly move on and win again or whether or not we can nick it with just a little loss oh we nicked it with a little win Andy Carroll coming off the bench to score in the 56th minute. And uh, that puts us through to the next round of the Europa League. That is 200,000 extra in the bank for me there. The West Ham Liverpool has been rescheduled due to that match. Now, we've, two days later, we've got this match against Bolton. And uh, it looks like we're going to have to swap a couple of players around here because I'm going to bring off, off Stevie G for Henriksen, Jose Enrique for Jordi Alba. And. Suarez for Carroll, and I think that's all I could really spare. I could bring off Yesus Navas for Dirk Count as well, which I think I'm going to, and Skirtle for Kurtz, or Kurtesh. Juan Maresca is going to come on for his first ever game, in place of Nathaniel Klein. I'm not expecting much from this match, but I really do want my wins. And what better way to rest some players than have a home match against Bolton? Fingers crossed, lads. Fingers crossed here. We've still got some good players there. 1 0, Jordi Alba. Nicking the match for us there. Seems this flat 4 4 2 is definitely working for us. Nathaniel Klein has broken his ankle. He's out for three months. And he, wasn't, he didn't even start the game. Um, that puts us in sixth place. We now have three points behind Arsenal. I think they still have a game in hand, but we've got another injury to contend with there, Nathaniel Klein. Yeah, they do have a game in hand. So fingers crossed they can lose that game in hand, please. Which they didn't. They won it. And we're now six points behind fifth and fourth and what have you. So, whatever. No, no, no. Oh, of course, I'm missing both my right backs now. So, um, 
Shit. I've got so many injuries, it's ridiculous now. Now I've lost Nathaniel Klein. Uh, Juan Maresca, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to play this game, mate. Skirtle's on. I'm going to play Coates as well. Um, Stevie G is going to come back on. I'm not in that position, though. Yeah, it's going to have to be, because Henriksen has only got one basic skill, which is long shots. Um, still Hazard there, and Luis Suarez is going to come on. That is going to have to do for this match, I'm afraid. Not got much in the way of, of cover anymore. So next season it's going to be all about cover and not about selling. See what kind of young, young blood we can bring through to the squad. I won man of the match, so fingers crossed. 3-0, come on. We're pushing now, we're pushing for that Champions League spot. 57 with three points behind Chelsea who are in fourth. This is getting tense. A late, late push up for here. And uh, Glenn Johnson has recovered from his injury. And I'm afraid that I'm going to have to shove him straight into the squad when I don't really want him to. But I've got no choice in the matter. I've got no choice in the matter. He's still recovering. Um, oh, it's just as bad. <laughs> just as bad as Juan Maresca. Uh, Daniel Iger's proper knackered. Glenn Johnson's probably got a little bit more in the tank than he has. Oh, I'm just looking through here and it's getting it's getting bad guys, it's getting real real bad now. Yes, it's in the vast. I'm probably going to bring Count on that left instead. Um, instead of Hazard, just to give him a little bit of a break there. But it's looking, it's looking dire at the minute, for fitness-wise, and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, I had an extra day. Let's see, let's, let's see what's going on with these guys here. What else if I press that first? Glenn Johnson's getting there. Yes, it's the vast there. Henriksen, Steven Gerrard, Dirk Count. Hazard still hasn't got his fitness back, really. Andy Carroll's got more than what Suarez has at the minute. So let's see what happens with this team here. I fully expect Glenn Johnson to get injured again. There's nothing much I can do about it. It's an away match against West Brom. Fingers crossed we can carry on this winning streak and try and push for that Champions League spot. Battery's just gone red, so this is going to be my last video of the night. One all. Damn it. It's two points lost rather than a point gained, in my opinion. Chelsea's still got a game in hand, and so has Tottenham. We've got a long wait now until the match against Manchester United. I think we need it. I think Chelsea went and won their game. Nevin Subotic said he's recovered and he, he, he can play. He says he's feeling alright, but I don't want to risk that guy getting injured yet again. So Juan Maresk is coming on. Daniel Agger's also on. In fact, this is a very important match. I'm going to leave Glenn Johnson in there. Subotic is not right at the minute. Just not right enough for me. Jose Enrique is back. Eden Hazard is back. Henriksen and Gerrard in the middle there. Suarez is going to be up front with Haig. This is an important match, fellas. This is the most important match of the season so far. A win here would definitely help us forwards. But we shall see. We'll see what happens. We're going into April very quickly. We're at home to Manchester United. It was a nil-nil draw, yet another two points lost. And uh, Chelsea are now five points ahead of us. They drew as well. 
Oh, now we've got Juventus coming up in the Europa League. And I think it's semi-finals now. We've got scouting updates as well. Let's have a look at these. All right, he's a bag of shit. He's a bag of shit. He's looking all right so far. 14-year-old Obi Salawu. Uh, in fact, I'm going to sign him before somebody pilfers him off me. I've got enough money to deal with it, so I'm not really fussed about that. Between 60 and 84, that guy as well. Ab Abdullah Mensah. You can always sign him and then just not bother with him. 59 to 83. I'm, not, I'm just going to scout him further. Mikel Pierce. Between 70 and 91. Chinidu Agbe Agbiko. Sign him up. Oh my god. Recommended. Recommended by the scout. Shit. Between 67 and 91, this guy. Badil Ofrata is 14 year old. Let's get him signed up. And he's a bag of shit. So, Evgeny, what have you got for me this month? Bag of shit. Bag of shit. Not bad. Nueke Dankwa. Between 71 and 91, that's not bad at all. Let's sign him up. He's a bag of shit. Between 62 and 88, another guy there looking good. Sign him up as well. And leave them in the youth squad for just a little while. And let's see what's going to happen in this game against Juventus. And then we've got West Ham three days after on the Sunday. Thank you, this, this time. Is Nevin Subotic fit enough to play? Not yet. He's, not, he's still got the bandage there. And so is Glenn Johnson. But everything else is looking okay there. I'm happy with that squad still. Nevertheless. It's the quarter-final actually. Not the semi-final against Juventus. So let's see how this goes down. This first leg. We're at home against Juventus. How is this going to work? A 2-1 loss. A 2-1 loss against Juventus there. And now we've got West Ham just a few days later. With a view that we must, must win. He's feeling a little bit jaded his Hague actually coming into this match. That's very unusual. And Carroll's come on for him then. Um, Juan Maresk is on because Nathaniel Klein's still not back and uh, Glenn Johnson's complaining that he's just a little bit under the weather. These are must-win games, I must remind you. Coming into the close of the, st uh, close of the season now. 38 games, we've got 7 games left to pull back 5 points difference. It is possible. 2-1, that's a good start. Skirtland Henriksen. <coughs> And Schweinsteiger's come back from injury. It's not fully back yet, but never mind. Four points in it now between me and Arsenal. Chelsea are nowhere to be seen at the minute. Cortes. So, let's have a look at the squad this time around. Glenn Johnson's on. Subotic gets his first game back. Jordi Alba's on. And this is not a bad squad at all to go into this match. We've got a 2-1 deficit to pull back. They've got an away goal. So a 1-0 win for Liverpool is not going to be enough this time around for an away match. And in fact, it was the opposite way around anyway. And Subotic is injured yet again. He's out for seven days though this time, Not, nothing too too bad. But we've got six games left to pull up, pull back four points there. Tottenham are next. And Tottenham are above us as well. A win here would help us massively. And Daniel Agu is back anyway. Um, Eden Hazard there. And that's looking good. Apart from Andy Carroll. Let's take him out. 
There we are. A win here, even though it's away. Uh, Manzukic has moved to Tottenham, has he? I think he just broke my chair. Never mind. Come on now. Oh, two all. Two points dropped. <sighs> 60, there's three points in it between me and Arsenal, but Arsenal do have a game in hand. Fingers crossed that they lose that game in hand. But we won't know. Oh no, yeah, they did lose it. There's three points in it left now, lads. It's getting very, very tense for me on the close end of this of this uh, season here. If I'm right, Schweinsteiger should be fit enough now to return. He's fit enough on there, but he's still got the plaster. Um, yeah, that'll do. Come on now, this one against Newcastle, this could bring us on level terms with Arsenal if Arsenal also lose, but we need to win this game first, we need to make sure we win. 3-0, that's not going to do us any harm whatsoever. Yes, it's Navas, Stevie G and Suarez getting the goals there. And we are two points now behind Tottenham. Yeah, Arsenal are still to play. But fingers crossed, they, they lose that match. No, nope, they won the match. We're still three points behind them with four games left to play, fellas. Three points left in it. And that's a good team. That's a good looking team there. It's a good looking team. Uh, that's an even better looking team right there. <laughs> All the team are back together eventually. Right for the crooks, the end of the season, and we're away to Chelsea. This is a very important match. There won't be any more important ones than this one, apart from that one that was against Manchester United just not so long ago. Four games left of the season. The damage has been done. A hat trick for Stevie G. Yes, this Navas is also injured though. What is that going to do? Oh, he's out for three months. That means we've got Dirk Count on this right hand side to look forward to. There is two points in it, fellas, between me and Tottenham, providing that Arsenal also lose their match. Coming up is the match against Leicester City. We've got a scouting update to go through first. He doesn't break 80, so he's gone. He does between 60 and 84. Between 62 and 90. Goodness gracious me. He could be good, that guy, so let's sign him up. Fuck it. He doesn't break 80, so goodbye to him. Mikel Pierce, what have you got to show us? Between 64 and 90, sign him up. 62 and 88, a goalkeeper there. 58 and 84, I think. I'm going to sign him up. And I'm not going to do what with the other guy there. Evgeny, come on, guy. Between 65 and 91, Dembe, Agbeko, sign him up. Uh, between 68 and 91, another good guy there. Let's sign him up. He's obviously better. Between 65 and 91, and between 63, let's see. I think that may do until next month. We've got a youth report to go through as well. Let's have a look. Bearing in mind my camera could go off at any minute, you've got to keep that in mind there. I don't know how. Oh, God. He doesn't break 80, so I'm afraid Abdullah Mensa has been released. Any that don't break 80, not at the minute. They're all right there. Between 70 and 91, that guy is looking good. He's looking very good indeed for a 16 year old. Between 65 and 91. 75 and 81, you'll say, Cruz. 
He's, he's dropping a little bit there. But the guy I'm looking at, where has he gone? Is it Yos? It's not Jose Cruz at all, is it? What's his name now? No, I signed him up, didn't I? Did I sign? No, Martin Miguel, there he is. Between 79 and 85. Looking very good. Let's see if I can get these three matches done. Two points are in it now, fellas. Two points are in it. Look at that. It is getting very tight, very tense. Even Man United is struggling up there as well on the same amount of points. Yes, it's Navas is injured, of course. Dirk Count is coming on. Got a full sight, a full good squad there. Even with the addition of Dirk Count, he is not going to you know, give up at all. Here we are against Leicester, a home match. It really couldn't be any better. Come on now, we've got to, we've got to push these aside. One man of the match. Does this mean I've won? Four one. Suarez here, Count Johnson. Can we push into that top four? Suarez has been suspended. No. We've got into the top four, fellas, but all depends on Manchester United and their match. And they drew. We've got two games of the season. We've pushed into the top four, into Champions League places. It could all go to the end of the season. And Suarez is suspended for this. Not good at all. Let's see what we can do now. Stoke City. We're away to them as well. It's a very difficult game. Fingers crossed. If we can win both of these matches. Oh no, we've dropped two points, fellas. We've dropped two points. Surely that is it. Surely it's all over. Andy Carroll's broken his collarbone now. We are sitting in fifth place. Two points behind Tottenham. And we've got a while to wait before our last game of the season. Two points are in it. Nathaniel Klein returns from injury. What is going to happen now? It all rests upon this. Where's my, like... Can I see everybody else's? Who have Tottenham got? This is most important. Tottenham have Arsenal away. This is very interesting indeed. Very, very interesting indeed. In fact, it's that important. I am actually going to... No, I'm not. I said I was going to play it, but I, I die. I then, just in case I lose... Luis Suarez is back for this match. And it all rests upon this result and Tottenham's result in the other one. If we can beat Blackburn and Tottenham lose or draw, which is entirely possible against Arsenal, then it's Champions League football next season. 3-0, we've done our part. And I can't see on the right hand side at the bottom of the latest scores there. What's happened in the other match? Eleven point six million pounds was given to us and we're through. We did it. Arsenal must have drawn against Tottenham. We've done it, fellas. A late, late push there. A good tactical change to a flat 4-4-2 has done us a world of good there. Stevie G, third top scorer, puts us into the Champions League. Until next time, guys, I've been the top man. Stay safe.